Hey guys, welcome back to another Famicom game history. This time we'll be playing Famista 94. It was released on December 1st, 1993 uh, in Japan. And uh, if you're new to uh, game histories, basically I just play 5 to 20 minutes of a game. I just talk about it. A lot of these games, first time I've ever played them. I don't know anything about them. I just, I mean, some I have. I'll admit that. I'll say when I have. But a lot of these I'm just playing for the first time and I'm just checking them out. And basically I do it because I do boss cutscene videos as well, which are where I do the collection of bosses and cutscenes, but the games that do not have them, to fill in the gaps, I do these. So that I can play the entire libraries of systems and stuff. So let's check this out. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Really helps my channel. And uh, let's see what this is. This is a cool looking baseball game. Kind of reminds me of RBI Baseball, in a way. Uh, okay, we're just going to do one player play because... I see what I got here. You cool? Uh, let's see, lions. Uh, let's be this one. I don't know what it is. And I'll go against Namco. I'll go against Namco's team. Ooh, do we want Umak Umaka Dome, Jingu no Mori, or Aquarium? I want to do the Aquarium. Come on. Uh, I don't know. Um, no more. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Oh, this is awesome. You're playing it in an aquarium. Now, that's different. I've not seen that done in a baseball game. Oh, no, am I batting first? All right, I'm going to be awful at this. I won't hit anything. I'm going to say that. I'm awful at these games. Always am. I don't know when to swing on this. Wow. Oh, I hit it. And I'm out. Yep. Dang it. It's just like RBI baseball. I wonder if this is RBI. No, it can't be. It didn't. It's its own series of games, I assume. It just plays a lot like RBI. Yep. Out. I apologize for the graphical glitches there, guys. Hey, it's Pac-Man. You tell us the name, go. Oh, get that, get that, get that, get that, get that. Do I have to actually catch that? Oh! Dang it! I didn't know that. I didn't know I'd actually have to control the, the catcher. Usually in those games, it goes to like... Jesus... Well, one. I'm going to let him go to third base. Okay, now third, third. Or I just let him get to third. I didn't realize it would take that long. Home run. Jesus. But you know what? I don't play these games to be good at them. I'm just showing them off. So you can see the gameplay of them. I don't really care. But I got to say, it looks nice. It's a nice looking Nintendo game. I'm not first out. Uh, it's a very nice looking Nintendo game. And it plays well too. It's easy to pick up. It's just with baseball, I'm awful usually anyway with... I'm usually awful with... Uh, what the... What was that guy doing? He was right... I thought he was the one that was going to get the ball. I was like, oh, he's got the ball. And then he just ran for the base. <laughs> I'm not getting that. There's no way. I don't know how to do this. I'm awful with the defense. Maybe I'll get to bat again here in the next 30 minutes. That's a foul ball. I don't understand that guy. I don't get that guy why he does that. I mean, I think it's the first baseman and he's just up off the base or something. Well, they've scored. Yes, please. But, I mean, to be fair, it, when it comes to games, uh, baseball games on Nintendo, you, you kind of can't get a ton of variety to... Well, 
ways to play anyway. Oh, I'm gonna get a bat. I get a bat again. <laughs> it's eight to nothing, but I get the bat again. <laughs> Foul ball. Yeah, connected. That's all I care about. That's Al, but that was a good hit. The bat is bent on the end when you look at it. it. Makes me think of a wiffle ball bat. Well, even wiffle bats are solid, but I mean, it's just like bent on the end there. It's funny looking. Well, that's Al. I'll probably do guys up to like the third inning. Depending on... What? Why am I controlling the first baseman at the same time? That makes no sense. Like I was controlling both guys. Like at least that's what it seemed like. It seemed like when I was doing that my first baseman was moving at the same time. Let's just lay. Let's let him score. There's no point. There's no point anymore. They've apparently destroyed me. I don't know who I'm controlling. That is one issue with this. I, when... That was bull. He was out. See, you control so many people. It's at once. Yep. That really was did well, didn't it? That's the game set, cause they got me ten to nothing <laughs> in the second inning. Wow. Well, I mean that's the game, guys. That's pretty. Oh, I like this little scorecard at the end. That's really cool. Uh, I mean, I'm not good at these games. I've admitted it before. I'm awful at sports games. And uh, yeah, I mean, but it. I mean, I gotta say, it was a fun game. It looked really nice for a baseball game. Uh, the only issue I had with it, pretty much, the only problems I was having with it was uh, when you, when the ball gets hit, you control like everybody on the field. So it's a little awkward because you're looking at one person and then you're controlling them, but then you're looking at somebody else and you're controlling them too. I like later on when you have baseball games and the later systems where they're able to use the AI to control the... Um, uh, players out on the field so like if the ball's going somewhere like the AI will generally deal with it most of the time I mean you control it if they get the ball and stuff but I like it when the AI has some control it makes it a lot easier um, but yeah that'll be it for me if you enjoyed this video or if you want to see more game histories because I know some of these some of these game histories are not that exciting and I mean I can't help it it's the game itself but uh you know, if you enjoy that, I do boss cutscenes as well. Those are, are a little bit more exciting, I'll admit, because you get to see the bosses and cutscenes of different games. And I do arcade, GBA on those. And I do a, and one I love the most, one of the things I love that I do the most is I do independent horror games and independent games in general. So check those out as well. And until next time, keep up the positivity.